when we're talking about bars, the hardest thing I think is cutting them appropriately and it actually is very easy. Again, when we're using something like this, we want to make sure that we're not waiting until it's cold to cut it off of the pan because it's going to make it harder. These are cooled, but it, they are not cold and they have not been refrigerated in the pan. We're going to take a knife that has a nice amount of space here so that we can get into the cookie sheet without our hand getting in the way. And just go down the side of the pan and just slowly loosen it up just to make sure that we don't have any tightness there. Always wearing gloves when we're working with uh, items that are going to go directly to the customer. So now that we've loosened all four sides, the important chef hack here is to work from the middle out. It's very easy for us to cut down the center of something and divide something in half than to start from one end and work to the other. If you've ever tried to make a poster, uh, you know that you can't just start at one end and write your title across. You'll always end up with the squished letters at the end. So we're gonna start right in the middle. I'm gonna go the long way first because I have this nice long knife. I'm gonna eye the middle and I'm gonna cut right down the middle. And then each of those sides, I can then divide in half as well very easily because I can see it clearly. So I'm gonna, just going to go again right down the center here. I think something that's important with bars, especially if you're doing a few different flavors, is cut them in slightly different shapes for each flavor. That way it's easier to identify which is which on a self-service area or if just quit in the midst of service, if it's very fast, it's very easy to identify if something's a different shape when they're all looking like brown cookies. So now that we have our four shifts going the other way, I've turned the pan the opposite direction, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go right in the center, and I'm gonna cut right in the center, and I'm gonna cut right down through. Then I can easily go on that half and cut down the center, and on this half and cut right down the center. We've now created 16 really nice rectangular bars. You can do less than this if you want a larger product. You can also do perfect squares if you would like. You can also cut a larger square and then cut each of those larger squares into triangles to create different things. But it's easier to start with a square basic shape. You'll have more success and less waste. Once that you have them cut, you're going to want to use an offset spatula. The first one is always the hardest. So what's easiest to do is try to find an edge that is the brownest. That will be the firmest cookie and will have the most uh, ability to rise out of the pan without bending or cracking. Um, and we're just going to make sure that we're loose on all edges before we work with it. And then slowly go down and help it with your hand. I'm going to take one finger and I'm just going to hold it up so I can readjust my offset spatula and I can grab our cookie bar out. Now again, if you're doing an individual cookie bar style, like a giant cast iron cookie or something like that, you wouldn't need to get it out of the pan. It is nice to serve things in there, um, especially if you're doing a plated meal or something like that. When traying up bars, everyone has a preference. Some people like edges, some people like corners, some people like the gooey center. Please make sure that you don't plate up all the same ones in the same area. And take your time. <laughs>